Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 47 of the Ring Road City of Valdez here in City Skylines. Yes, in the previous episode we have been working around this area. We built this harbor over here, you know, we replaced these warehouses and made sure that there is also commercial over here and this is actually running pretty nicely and I'm also actually kind of happy with this thing it works it's not that not that busy strangely enough but I don't know why but maybe well there's yeah sometimes you don't have that many flights in the region I have no idea uh, or they are afraid to hit that mountain I have no idea but anyway um, in the last episode I already said to you guys like we need to check out our unique factories and that is what we are going to do so where uh, let me check it out where do we have those things oh a little bit that way yeah I see them already here are all those warehouses and um, <coughs> yeah these warehouses do collect all the stuff you know um, if it is too much and basically within this region I sort of yeah monkeyed around a little bit here and there to make sure that all of these unique factories get their stuff like for example building all of this stuff you know like this all area over here or this forestry area over here and a little bit of farm over here so let's have a look at this whole uh, stuff and let's see if we see anything that well so this building is complaining that's the first one I noticed. So, so what's complete? Metals. Yes, I think I noticed this already before. Metals. Uh, I think this building has some metals. Yeah. I think this building. Last time I saw this has also a little bit of lack of metals. And for the rest. For the rest. So what are you complaining about? Animal products. Animal products? Are they not coming from here? animal products I mean lots of animal products over here and hmm but no local storage for it right no so no trucks that can deliver it directly to the to the other side huh maybe that could be useful in this situation because we have some buildings here that are producing animal products but yeah like I said no storage okay so let me pick this road and we're going to create just a little bit of storage for uh, for the both of them like that just here just here on this road and we grab a warehouse just this one will do like that and this is a little bit jinky so we're going to terraform a little bit of that Zoop that wall away and um, you know I, I never care about you know, whoa <laughs> that went a little bit too much oopsie okay this one we put there so let's say animal products animal products here and then flower over there they can bring it out and that will work fine I think I hope <laughs> yeah you know while we're at it I mean <laughs> cannot really uh, you know <laughs> it's nice to have a terraform tool you know to make uh, areas flat so let's get out of here take this road as well we go from here to there to there nice they can bring uh, that stuff uh, to other places so we move this one a little bit to there and we give these guys a little bit of parking so they don't complain the whole time we cannot park our cars uh, yeah you go there thank you uh, although I don't see any parked cars over here or here nowhere actually on these parking lots so the people who work here I wonder where do they park their cars I don't I don't know I don't know um yeah also the metal thing you know I built this ore area over here so we have some production of glass that those are these buildings 
and these are complaining about not enough bias for the products yeah so here we go again so goods are piling up zone more commercial area to create places that uh, yeah but the, the glass is needed here i mean there are some buildings here complaining about we need the glass okay so here we have like uh, the new type of road i just downloaded it from the steam workshop this is you know this is the uh, jungle road you know you have to crisscross through it and uh, <laughs> uh yeah okay so expect expect this to happen now and then you know trees uh, in some places where they don't belong so yeah uh, the question is can we apply here in this region also something for more metals uh well yeah we could i mean but then i have to dig into this hillside do i want that hmm. it can be you know only one rotary kiln plant per per, build, per per road would suffice so yeah let's do a little bit yeah let's do the awkward thing again yep i know what you're thinking like yep snowy makes the whole map completely flat He's just acting as if he is at, at home, you know. <laughs> sort of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's pause the game. Oh, let's let me that train pass by for a moment. Chuk 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 chuk. Yeah, you go away. Bye, bye, bye. And then And then we see how many of these um, extra buildings we require so okay so um, this is the road and as you know me i don't care about stones and rocks and whatnot if you if you are a rock lover then <laughs> you better go to biffa's channel <laughs> he saves the rocks well at least somebody does is that straight does not seem to be straight 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees but it still whoops a little bit to the side I don't know it's a little bit off uh -huh. yeah that does that does fine okay let's dive into the um, area um, first let me check out the zoning the districting snowy the districting of this area paint uh, yeah this is big enough okay the district yeah okay, okay fair enough here we go so we need more um metals okay those are these buildings and oh they don't f mm. they don't fit everywhere that's sad we can squeeze in one here yeah here we can't that's too okay we can if we just say like pick this road and then make it go down there to there to there pick this road again and then probably we can squeeze it in between here yeah that works mm, those are two now can we place a third one I am not sure let me see take this and then right there on the other side it's very close by but uh, oh the shadow uh, <laughs> made it appear as uh, as if this road was floating you see that it looks like it's floating but it's not okay so we have now here um three rotary kiln plants uh, in this environment i also place then a warehouse just a warehouse like this and i say here metals and they will hopefully transport that out and uh, let's also connect a few of these roads up to make things more connectable and you know what actually these can also connect to there joint then can they can go directly into there saves a little bit of traffic yeah now let me check this out so this is like okay 
You can be turned off. You will go on. You stay on and distant crossing. Yeah. You can better have it over here. Yeah. That's better. Okay, press play. So we have now more real to, uh, real to, yeah, real to the golden plants, yeah, and indeed, rotary kiln plants. So these things can now output hopefully their ore a little bit more. More ore. Yeah. And let's see, can we, you know, we have a little bit of space here, you know, I, I want to utilize this because now we have more ore, more ore. And we can utilize, I think, small ore ground. No, that's this one maybe. Can we snug that in here? What's that building there? I cannot see it. That's a parking lot. Oh, that can be deleted. They can park on the other side. <laughs> yeah, they can just park on the other side. The wrong, it's the wrong one. And we take just this building there and. Oh. Yeah, looks a little bit off, but uh, just move it slightly with the move it mod, everything fine. I assume that we have like, yeah, the resources in the ground here, so that's fine. And for the rest, well, just let, let me have a look. Where can we snug in more of these? Maybe somewhat smaller, small ore mines. These, for example, look, we can just snug in one there. And I don't know here, not an industry area, but there and there. And they are still mm, just on the ore to make sure that they are fully on the ore. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. So let's zone this up to there. District up to there. I mean, yeah, they they do create a little bit more ore. Zero workers. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for a long time I have no residential demand, which is. Uh, quite disturbing at times and I've even been thinking maybe I don't know maybe in this region so far away from from the central area you know I'm already here so close to the edge of the map so okay um, this guy was complaining about the metal I remember now he has enough metals okay so fair enough well, let's have a look these guys are not complaining. This guy is complaining. What are you complaining about? You don't have plastics. Plastics. This thing has also no plastics. Really? No plastics? Oh, this thing is set to fill. Oh, set to balanced with the glass. But uh, no plastics. This has some plastics. Plain timber paper. Some glass there as well. Glass there as well. Mm, okay, no, mm, no plastics, right. Now let me think, uh, th that's the oil industry, which is all the way over here. Plastics. Plastics are made by... Not by these guys, yeah, by these guys. And they, these guys are complaining. They... Oh, they complain about not enough raw m resources, the raw materials. What? There's nothing in here. They're practically empty. Are these things not pumping? Oh. Could that be it? Can it be that simple? Hmm? Can be. Well, let me just grab a few more of these things. Uh, so one, two, three, and four, and five. So they can add a little bit more. And what kind of 
oil extraction do we have more so we have these large towers and we have these pumps and what is this a seabed thingy uh, no that's not it and nothing else no so what I can do I can just place a few of these these smaller ones over here one two let's shed some light on this no not that light this light yeah, thank you there 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 but they they have just a lack of oil apparently oh man this is so so industrialized you know the the closest workers are around here we, we actually would need then workers over here to get you know from the airport and then over there i mean yeah now let's see if this will change a little bit you know that these nafas uh, do get a little bit more let me have a look here what is going on here you go there so only one lane for left turn okay we are going to do something about that we say like going up a little bit we take this road make it a three laner three laner three laner three laner uh, make this all three laner up to there and then here we can say like uh, well let, you know one for straight on one straight on and left and one for left what do you want more and we can make this junction also a little bit uh, bigger uh, if I can get to it just you know a bit of bend like that to 20 that's great and we increase the, uh, the speed to 60 60 60 yeah yeah that's important speed to 60 uh, 60 there 60 there are these are for all 40 then those are 80 yeah these are also driving not too fast 60 uh-huh Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So we have now added uh, more, you know, pumps. Hopefully they can fill up these things a little bit more. Or maybe, I don't know. I mean, but still, you know, freight trucks in use. Uh, nearly all of them are in use, so... It's not like they, they're doing nothing, but they have so many buildings to facilitate that... Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. I put another one over here, just because it fits. Yeah, just barely. So we have now these extras and we have this whole area here. And you know, actually all these people who work here have no place to park their cars oh my gosh and there and that should be enough yeah what's this what what is going on here well dead people that that is what is going on there um, it's a one-way road It's a one-way road. Yeah, I see it. Hmm. Well, in that case, we are just making a one-U road that goes from there. Oh, come on, to there, to there, and on that road we place a crematorium like this so they can fetch these uh, dead people just drive around you know no issues no tissues no dramas nothing and here we uh, like, uh, yeah straight on and left yeah that seems okay it 
Richard. You do your thing, okay? Can you send out the horses? Come on. Well, look at the what happens here. It's like it wants to send out horses, but... Ah, what is going on here? Maybe we need another type of horse? Ten capacity horse? I don't know. What is going on here? It does not want to uh, send out a horse. Why not? You can go there, 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 here. Across the street, straight on to there. And back again. I don't see the issue. What can we do about this? Um, we take a small two-lane road. Something like this. We hook it on to there. And then to there. And then here also we place a crematorium. Now will this guy come out? Also this road seems not not be the correct road. <coughs> That's the better one. A little bit, <coughs> a little bit faster, please. But they won't come out. Am I? Am I? No, I am not at the vehicle limit. Uh, let me see. Control L. Citizen instances. Oh, that could be. That is a possibility that that has something to do with it. Okay, let's keep an eye on this building while it, um, it does not want to send out a, a vehicle. And let's get to traffic manager and let's see if this uh, map has some issues. So we are going to look for broken pathing. 52. Okay. Ghost vehicles. 347. Okay, we go to TMPE, maintenance, remove stock sims and traffic, I mean uh, remove stock sims and vehicles, did it, did it, did it, now let's see what happens. This is odd. This building does not say how many people there are actually working in the crematorium. How about any of the, of the other cramps? Uh, let me see, because this is not a good sign. Uh, this is the wrong... No, here. Let me try the cheeky one, this one. Ooh, that's a little bit bigger. Can I just... We will just uh, put it there and then see what happens. So this is a few crematorium and funeral home which has like 100 uh, hearses but it refuses to send them out. Well, that's interesting. Okay, and how about a an ordinary cemetery then? Well, well, well. This is a very weird situation. It's no wonder that you have so many dead people uh, in the city if the horses don't want to come out. Ah. That is odd. That's very, very odd. So, we can put this thing away. We can put this thing away. You know, I think that this, this um, crematory normal wise would take the buildings here. Um, well, let's make these people then happy with a little park or something. I don't know. Do we have something smaller? 
this one yeah that will do now what we can do and that's a little bit of yeah it's a semi cheating you can click a building with a move it mod you can select a building and you can say here uh, reset objects tube then that that person basically disappears but that I mean that does not solve the problem you know that is like that's just basically saying like you know deleting traffic for example to get things done so what is going on here on one of these lines there is some issue here here are what is is a met metros are blocked that's a bad sign here Yep, I see I see them. One, two, three. Just blocked, just like that. Why? Why are these metros blocked? I don't know. I don't know. So okay, let me which line was that? That was line uh, thirty three. Okay. Line thirty three. line 33 which uh, which is this one so what kind of vehicles do we use here just regular metros okay now we go to here so these guys are stuck um but uh let me remove all the vehicles i mean that might help 33 uh -huh. so remove 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 to zero so they all will disappear now of the line and then select types so we have the metro 3 capacity 240 now let's just take another one maybe it makes any difference I don't know so we remove this one and let's take oh, there's somewhat uh, bigger capacity metro we put there like that vehicle and bunching that's normal and then we are going to add vehicles here to this line six of them now nah, five is enough yeah and we check later again whether this problem will be fixed are these metros still there those are bored yeah okay because they are waiting for the for the metro to come there okay 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 let's get back to the um uh unique factory area because you know it's so easy to to wander off into other directions well, let's see let's see because we have so many unique factories here on just one yeah place basically that it's, it's actually calling for trouble, you know, to be honest, sometimes. Okay, uh, this one is complaining about animal products. Still animal products? These animal products, plastics. So they bring that in from here to here and Oh my god, we have like a train jam. What is go oh, again another deviation? Um, <laughs> so let me see, they need that stuff over there. Now if I just create here a little like that. We go over the train line. Which is jammed anyway. You can also do it here. Like that, that, and then that. Yeah. So what's going on here with these freaking trains? They're jammed from Okay, they want to go on from there, 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 there. And here 
there is a weird thing going on here. I don't know what it is, but it's like this thing is flying out of the corner somehow. I don't know. This one is stopping for the one that is going on the ground. Okay, so let's also have a look on the ground then. Well, you go there, you go there. Aha! Found the culprit. Here we have it. Look, this train here. It's just standing still. Okay. This one is just standing still. Okay. <laughs> you go away. Will you continue again now? Yeah, because this is just the uh, exit. I mean... Well, at least they can get out now. I hope. It, they should be able to get out because there's no op op opposing train coming, so... They try to, but it's not possible. But eventually they will get out. So this will be moving again. Take some time, but um, yeah. So these, th yeah, these guys do get now their stuff. They have workers. They produce more metals. That's fine. Uh, animal products. I was a little bit confused about because I did place these guys over here. They have nothing. They have also nothing. So what is going on here? No, that is just it. that is just weird, you know. This let me see. This one is animal products. Okay, so I click on this building. He produces animal product. We click on transfer manager, right? Right. So um, outgoing materials. We are not exporting. We outgoing buildings, we are selecting only one building, which is this warehouse. That's it. That's the only place where he can bring the stuff to, is to this warehouse for animal products. The question is, can we see that happening? Well, that would be nice if we could see that. Hmm... Oh, you know, the game without mods, it is sometimes a little bit difficult to, um, how shall I say it, maneuver around the uh, things, but you don't have the issues with mods, so, hmm. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We see now freight trucks in use. Which one is it? Was it this one? No, was it this one? Own a large animal pasture. Which is this thing? Okay. And he brings it to the warehouse too, which I selected over here. So finally, there he comes. And he will bring now stuff to this warehouse. And this guy is complaining. Well, now he has animal products. But <coughs> this guy is now bringing the animal products over here. Zoop, you go in there. Yeah. And already this one comes out and he breaks it he brings it to the tuk tuk factory. All the way over here. Huh? <laughs> that's well, that's quite that's quite a long drive, all the way from there. This game makes no sense, you know, in so many ways. <laughs> uh, yeah. You should place basically your industries just, you know, between all your unique buildings, you know. Just oil there and some ore there and all those kind of factories and whatnot and you name it. I mean, uh, but most of these factories, you know, they are not complaining. At least, I do not see much complaining. You know, most of them, I mean, they run at 150%. Uh, oh, here's one complaining. Now, what are you complaining about? You don't have any ah, animal products. Also animal products. <sighs> animal products. 
animal products. Uh, so these are crops. Animal products. Nothing in there. Hmm. And the, you know the sad thing is you cannot place a um, an animal pasture or something in there because it's not within the farm area. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Crops, animal products, plastics, and this thing. Also, animal products and flour. You know, you know, you nearly wish that you could do it. You know, just take this thing. You know, just just be very, very brutal and say like, you know, screw it. I'm just going to do it. But it also rhymes. So we have a space here. We're just going to do it right like that yeah, something like that blah, 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 blah. yeah make sure that the ground is also fertile otherwise it will not help um, let's see let's see we need a little bit of this colorful stuff you know to make it a little bit more fertile why not Although technically it's not needed because we only require that building, not not to get stuff out of the ground actually. But okay, okay. So how can we make this happen? Because this is a very tight, tight space. Um, yeah, that's a that's a good one. What we can do is like, it's like, it's like. Uh, uh, first of all, we require a farm main building. We can just squeeze in over there. That's okay. And then make this a little bit bigger like that. And then we take a few crops and stuff. You know, just a few of these guys. Just big enough. Nice. And on the other side, can we squeeze? Yep, we can squeeze something in there. And then at the same time, we take a silo, a small one, suffices, like this one. Like that. And I would love to have now these, these other buildings there as well. So I take this road. Boop, we go there. Zoink. Now, they're complaining about animal products and flour. Um, wrong option. Animal products. Cattle. Shit. I need to enlarge this area. Otherwise it will not work. Okay. So... Yeah, let me take the... Oh, that building is so huge! But how about... Is this problematic? I mean... Let's do this a slightly different. Um, you and you. We take you. We put you there. And we put you... There. You there. And then we take you. We put you there. How about that? And then the question is, can we squeeze also something that makes flour? I think so. The flour is this building. Yeah, it can just be here. And, you know, that does not fit, sadly enough. So since we do have the space here anyway, why not just say like, make this bigger, like that, and then at the same time grab this thing, fertile ground, this option, and then we make this also a little bit bigger here as well. And then, come on, you can go better than that. Well, that will do. And this is a one-way road, yeah. 
So can I pick this one? Yeah, I can pick that one, but it's a little bit too... Just too small. Too short, too long. Okay, fine, then we take the, the smaller ones. These ones, these ones, and these ones. Just a few extra. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. But that's not in the area. Okay, and a little one over there. Yeah, just to create, you know, a little bit more extra traffic because we need it. <laughs> we love the traffic, remember? So, okay, uh, let's go find a few parking lots for in between here. So the, these poor people can park somewhere. Not like that. Come on, you go. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And then um, here, do the same thing for that building. Here also. I don't know about, you know, the real function of a farm maintenance building, but I don't see any reason <coughs> not to squeeze it in here. I mean, why not? I mean, uh, in a few worker barracks, they, they are not that big, so you can even here, put them here, there, there, there. Living directly next to a very busy road, so they will sleep very proper at night. Uh, okay, so we select this again. And we can squeeze those. Uh, one there, one there. No, one there. There, there. Um, yeah, I think that will do. There, 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 and there. Just on the main road. Good night, uh, boys. <laughs> so, for the rest, uh, how is the traffic doing? 87%. Is that train uh, issue solved? Uh, I don't even know where it was. Oh, that was here, I think. Yep, all the trains are gone. Here we go. It's not a very smooth... Uh, thing here right so let me smooth this out with this option so from there to there enter does not really work but we can use the no controller go underground and then slope this now check this again now it's nice and sloped Maybe there are too many no no not too many notes together here. No, no, that's okay. They run fine, yeah. So all these train lines, yep, they're free they they are completely freed up again. I mean all these train lines were completely blocked up simply because there was a train standing still. It's like I don't know, ridiculous. But also, what I noticed here, for example, is like that all the dead people have been collected. So, where the transfer manager did help with the ghost notes, I don't know. Uh, ghost vehicles? Yeah. We do have a lot of income, though. I mean, from our industry. 300, uh, I mean, with so many unique factories. Yeah, you would say, like, yeah, you have a lot of income. 62, 3, no, 63% of your income comes from industry area or fishing industry. Mostly through the warehouses. Also, a lot of oil is being sold directly. Which is odd because those buildings earlier were screaming for raw oil. But who knows, you know, maybe the amount of uh, oil buildings that I placed here they fill up now these silos a lot more or not well there's definitely more in them now so also more traffic but that's okay 
these guys still don't get the oil but yeah these guys are on the <laughs> on the back end of the route yeah i know that's kind of sucks of course you can allocate every silo to let's say you have one two three four five six seven so we have 14 Never crackers and you have like one two three four five six seven eight nine now let's say you have seven of these things then you could for example attach this silo to these two and this silo to these two etc etc but in order to make sure that these guys get some stuff and now let's see let's let, let, let's do the following we are open this up uh -huh. We are going to outgoing, allow export, no, and outgoing, buildings, and those will be that one and that one. Yeah. So they will devote now basically all the trucks, these guys. I think this one will now go to the Nefa Cracker plant. One of these two. I bet you. If I click this button, it's either one of these two. Which one is that? He's going to that one. Oh, okay. Wrong bet. Maybe I let's let's check again. Let's wait. Somebody has to get out. I'll give a moment come on get out <laughs> ah here we go now where are you going are you going to now you you better go to either of these two now that's the that's the thing I want to see yeah so you know if you are really doing this in a detailed way with transfer manager in theory you could guide all these trucks to designated or dedicated uh, buildings but that's like a lot of work you know it's like an insane amount of work and what, what is this for dead place nobody here what is this let's go cargo airport oh why is the, why is it so dead here weird well, anyway, uh, let's get back uh, quickly to the unique factories area. This extra road also helps. Uh, let me do a little bit of tweaking here and there. For example, here, carry on, carry, oh, carry on, carry on, carry on. No crossings there. Yeah. Um, so they can bring it out there. He is again complaining about animal products. Wait, 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 wait. So, if these guys get animal products, if I can also, I can also click this one. You know, you, um, no export, buildings, and I select only you and bombs. So, if this building gets now animal products, which it does not at the moment. Let's see what is happening. So somebody is coming. Let's see where is coming from. Where is that? Huh? Oh, never. Oh, never mind it. <laughs> never mind it. Never mind it. But uh, yeah, this warehouse will now not, for example, bring the stuff all the way over there. But I selected it to go to there. But there's nothing in here, so... <laughs> and I told these guys to bring their stuff to... Um, let's see... Tractor fruit for all... Buy a few... All my yeah yeah yeah. Well, the idea is sort of clear, you know. You know, you sort of know how that works. I wonder how this works with these ships once 
you know, once they are finished, do they just sail off or, or, or do they stuff them in also in a warehouse? Uh, these are running fine. These need a little bit of plastics. These are also running fine. Yeah, basically not really complaints, you know. But yeah, we, we need... Yeah, what do we need? Workers? Hmm. To be honest, I don't know. You know, and also for the next episode. Um, remember last time that I had here... Yeah, that big stadium over here. You know. I thought to myself, like, maybe we can place that over here. Yeah. I think that we can do in episode 48. I think that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, what's going on, guys? Are you stuck somehow? He's loading. It does not appear to be loading. Go away. He is standing still. It, you know, I don't know sometimes about the game. What is wrong with it? You know, it's sometimes it feels off. I don't know. It probably is because of all the mods and, you know, I'm really looking forward to City Skylines 2 where all these problems are hopefully history if they don't screw it up again and um, yeah but anyway guys and girls thank you for watching this episode number 47 of all this uh, the ring road city here in city skylines and yeah we have been building up quite a lot here and uh, like I told you earlier I also had like a plan with this maybe I have to implement that also sooner or later before the game sort of crashes or something I don't know we can combine that with uh, yeah with the stadium over here but uh, yeah that time will come okay guys and girls uh, I would say thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time see you bye bye